When we joined the BBC, it was quite a thing, not just for us, but for our families, that we joined the organization, the BBC organization. A lot of people saw it as a job. They're not here. The people who saw it as, as, as a passion are here. Well, your whole family essentially joined the BBC when you joined, didn't Well, that's very true, yeah. and your family, and, uh, and everybody relied on strong people at home because you were away so much. Yes, yeah. especially the weekend. Oh, yeah. Especially the wife all did the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a lot did divorce the yeah. wife. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, the BBC strike. paid more. Mm. <laughs> Actually, it was a start with. It wasn't yeah. cost effective, yeah. I, I tell you. No, I've, I've, seen, more I've seen a pay slip today. We both joined in the early 60s. We did. And uh, your net pay in the first month, I know it was a strange month, was £22 a month. That's right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we didn't join for the money. Mm -hmm. And it's very strange that when ITV started, and they didn't train people as the BBC had trained us, people defected to ITV, but we all knew the people who would. Mm -hmm. And that a lot of yeah. that was yeah. financial. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it wasn't. It it, uh, it it was a strange thing because we all here, everybody in here was trained. Mm. Training nowadays costs a great deal of money. Mm. In those days, we joined, and we joined people who had more knowledge than us, but were very keen and able to pass that on to yeah. us. Yeah, and for that, we all absolutely. we all uh, are very thankful. To carry on their knowledge. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Willingly given. Yeah. 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 Well, it's it interesting they call it service, don't they? Mm -hmm. I mean, and it, it, it's weird really that they call it, it was like joining the army or something. It, well, well, actually, actually so joined the service. It was like, uh, I, I like it, when people ask me, it was like being in the services. Mm. Yes. Because you were on a crew, you yeah. saw more of the crew than you saw of your family. So yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Literally, yeah. I was on one crew for 10 years. Because just I was yes. quite happy there. Nobody, you know, I was quite happy to stay there. You had more in common in some ways. You would yeah. continue strands of conversation, and sometimes you, you, you know, your continuity. Then there was it in your, your home life. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and not being facetious, mm -hmm. uh, but really? the crew became your family. Mm -hmm. And that's that could lead to problems. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think, I think when you I saw think more of them, they, 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 yeah, yeah. And when you went them. home, yes. you were more or less an interloper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was quite likely that when you woke up in the morning, you were more likely to see your senior cameraman than you were to see your wife. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how it was. But if somebody made a mistake, they never stood up and started yelling and screaming. It wasn't their fault. Mm -hmm. If they did, they'd be treated with contempt. Oh, yeah, you, don't you, you, yes, yeah, absolutely. You, you put your hand up <laughs> and then and admitted your mistake, yes. and the whole team then got together and sorted, 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 yeah, sorted yeah, and yeah, keep yeah, the program on. Yeah, but the guy who got it wrong mm -hmm. did not have to buy a lot of beer. Until <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> so, so the disciplinary interview the following Monday. Yeah. 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 But that's the point. You said he did have to buy a heck of a lot of beer. Now you said that in a flippant way, but it was true. You could have your spats during the day, and you were working under pressure. Yeah. Therefore, there were tended to be, to be disagreements. Yeah. But when you got to the pub or the hotel in the evening, it was a pint of beer, and you shook hands, and it was all forgotten for the next day. Mm. Yes. No grudges were carried. No. 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 There was no. no politics within the crew. No. And, 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 and funnily enough, that's happened here this week. Mm. It takes you back, doesn't it? When we all sit mm. down, I think it's been quite a, a good thing that we all sit down for a communal that's dinner. Right, yes. mm. And we all sit yes, down yes, to yes, eat yes, the yes, same yes, thing. Yes, mm. and, and, and that used to happen in those days. Mm. And, 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 and that's where you bonded in the evenings. Mm. Because we didn't go didn't up to our rooms and watch television. You sat and talked and mm -hmm. sorted out problems you'd have that day ready for the next day. Yes. You weren't being paid to do so. Yeah, right. Or you helped for the, the, the other thing that was said was that yeah. the, 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 when you went out for dinner in OB crew, it took an hour to eat the meal <laughs> and three hours to work the bill out. Yes. <laughs> yes. Unless, unless you were working on London 5. Uh, rule 13. Rule 13. Whatever you had, the bill was split equally. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. What with everybody. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. whether you just had a sandwich and something, it, it was no messing around. Well, I didn't have the soup, and you had the yes. stuff. Yeah. Everyone would say, right, that's it. So everyone get, would order the most expensive. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Did encourage overeating. Yeah. Yes. I think the biggest joy, really, for me was your boss's name was Dave or Don mm -hmm. or John. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Mr. Uh, or yeah. Sir. Yeah. 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 It was. Yeah. A, it yeah. was a family thing. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. that relaxed you because. Mm -hmm. 
you felt you could talk to them. You didn't have to go and see Mr. So and so yes. or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think the thing was that sort of in those days you had the sort of you were away from the base and the backup from base, mm -hmm. and you had to make it work. So yeah. 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 what you had the same aim, everybody. Yes. Yes. So everybody backed exactly each other same. up. Yeah. 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 That's why we were there. And to be fair, it's been the same watching everybody this week. You know, the way. People have struggled to yeah, lift yeah. the emu, and, yeah. and, and you all sorted it out. You know, it would have been nice if you'd have joined in. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I think we all found that if we did a reasonable day's work, we got a fairly duff program out. If we all worked to the highest standard we could possibly achieve, then we began to get programs that were really worth watching. Mm. The difference with the gear in, in the, the days we're talking about is that it was fixable on site. Yes. Yes. We're at much yeah. more than solid state stuff now that you had spare boards, spare tubes, you always had a set of spare camera mm -hmm. tubes, uh, you know, and soldering arms worked, you know, and people would be in there so fixing boards. And you could see the components. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. Right. Yeah. It was such, that's what I mean, the gear yeah. was such that you could mend it, yes. but it if and when it, it went But wrong. it was more necessary. Yeah. It wasn't just the maintenance of it, it was the fact that its overall performance was generally fairly low. So to get it up to a good standard, you had to, Keep it was an art form, yeah. almost, to get the performance out of the gear, um, both in pictures and I'm sure sound as well, but in particular getting the technical side of cameras up, up to a decent standard, um, was a continuing challenge. It wasn't just a question of getting it to work, it was getting it to work and then work very well. But Dick well put enough. his finger on that because in those days you had to make things work. Mm. Now, nowadays things generally work anyway, yes. and yeah, if they right. don't, you throw it away mm. and get yeah, another yeah, one. Right. Yeah, in those days we things. had very yeah. few yeah, of right. anything yeah, yeah. because yeah. everything was new and innovative, and we had very few of them. Yeah. And we had to make those work. Um, initially, I didn't realise that um, as a PA you'd probably be the only female on, on the unit, um, but. Generally, um, people were quite nice to you. You would, you would have the odd person that was, was difficult, particularly if you know, location catering wasn't ready when you said it might be and things like that. But I, I think generally it, it was okay. Um, the thing that I did get upset about was when you'd go to planning meetings and, or rehearsal days and all the ladies' loos were locked and things like that. Um, but I think... You, if you didn't, if you couldn't cope with it, you wouldn't have stayed in OB. Yeah. You'd have had to say to somebody, "Look, really, you know, I'm away from home a lot, or I don't like the culture of it, or because you know." Or the lack of culture. Well, exactly. I mean, you know, there would be a few dreads, and people would say, "You know, pardon me, but," and then they'd still say it anyway. So it really didn't matter. Um, I don't think my mum appreciated it because my language did get a lot worse. <laughs> um, she used to, always used to say to me, you didn't used to swear before you went to the BBC. Yeah. <laughs> you do now, and, you know, and I don't fully admit I do. But um, I, I just think you either cope with it or you just would have said, you know, please can I go back to the studios or can I go to film and things like that. Well, you're just another member of the family, really. It, it, you know, well, it, it, it's part of that structure. We would, everybody would have stood behind you, had you had any problems with anybody? Yeah, you know, I think, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as I say, yeah. I always thought yeah. of you as a pretty boy. Not as pretty as you, Rex. <laughs> Generally, people were quite good if, if you were working very late, and we did work very late on snooker and, and things like that, you know, it was gone midnight, and if you had to go to the car park, yeah. you know, like mm. Preston car park, was mm. quite mm. petrified, I think even yeah. you guys might have been a bit yeah. scared yeah. walking yeah. through there yeah. and sort of half past midnight, and particularly when the Yorkshire Ripple was loose and things mm. like that. But people were always quite good and say, you look, you know, let me know when you're when you're heading off and, and we'll walk with mm. you and things like that. So um, generally people were, were quite good like that, I think. Um, I think we should ask the kit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it had worked a bit better. As well. yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was 45 years old, so yeah. 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 Well which is up. frustrating because we want to yeah. make the best thing. Just, yeah. Yeah. Well, quality yeah. wise. The whole thing of it, as we've said, is we just try to make it work. Yes. Doing yes. the program yeah. is why we're here. Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. that's what we're for. It's mm. particularly difficult because, not that it's just 45 years old. But 20 of those 45 years have been spent in the in your yeah. 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 Not in my garden. Yeah. And I think that's, that's made it much tougher to give a demonstration of what yeah. it was like 
at that time, mm. um, which would have been really nice to have been able to do. But I mean, life is life. It was always going to be frustrating. In yeah. some ways, it was a miracle that I, I couldn't believe it. We got four cameras working. You know, yeah. right, the, the, yeah. with sort of rolling humbars, I was yeah, sort of sure. yeah. all day. <laughs> but but it did work, you know, after a fashion. And I think the the feeling when we were doing the lineup, you know, something we hadn't done lineups for years. Yeah. Just yeah. Camera looking at a chart and trying to remember where, you know, red vertical linearity yeah. or where the, you know, trying to do the right twist and things like that. And when we found it, it was quite, it was quite and satisfying. Quite satisfying. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's quite satisfying. Yeah. But um, what's the day after? But, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But to think that. That you know, that in in 2016, I'd have been spent a day behind a, an ME 2001 again. Um, would, you'd never have imagined it, really. So yeah. I, I, I think we managed to sort of cover the when we had problems between us. We managed to find the solutions of the sort that we would have found 40 well, odd years yeah, ago. Yeah. Well, well, it it came, yeah. But it gradually yeah. came back. Yeah. But some of the detail in this, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. quite, quite a lot of it in there somewhere. <laughs> But yeah. we'd have probably only had one of those issues on a yes. programme. Yes, I think for everybody, failure was not an option. Yes. That's yeah. right. I think we all yeah. would let yeah. 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 let the team go. But yes. it was just, it was obviously you didn't want the programme to fail. You didn't want to fail in front of your. Yeah. Well, you nobody needed to tell you that you'd gone wrong. You felt absolutely yes, you horrible yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. You had the feeling that maybe you yeah, made yeah, a mistake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that the memory I'll take away from this is the fact that we were given a deadline for effectively what was going to be a live transmission. And as that, as the clock ticked round and, and Jane started to count us in yeah. at the beginning of that program, I felt yeah. that I, the years rolled back. And we yeah. were all suddenly working as a team. The adrenaline was yeah. flowing, yeah. and for twenty minutes we were all focused on yeah. making it work yeah. 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 And, and then there was this wonderful relief afterwards and this sort of self-congratulatory yeah. program yeah. Yeah. yes this program euphoria yeah. 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 in the past would we'll have taken us straight down the pub for a, a good old yeah. chinwag yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>